ליתיום כידוע אינו מקדם טוב של קשרים חדשים. עם ליתיום לא הולכים לרעיונות עבודה או לפגישות רומנטיות. אנחנו, אמנים דיפרסיביים, בניגוד לחולי לב או לסתם בני אדם, נזקקים לעקומה ישרה על המסך כדי לבוא בחברת בני אדם שהשיגעון אינו מוכר להם. פעם זה היה אחרת. למשוגע היה מקום של כבוד. פעם כדי להתנבא פשט שאול המלך את בגדיו, אך כיום לא יודעים מה יעשו בו בשיגעון. לכן יאזקו אותו וילבישו את עירומו בחוטונץ גלגלה וישחררו אותו זהיר זעיר בין בני האדם. My name is Galit Dahan Karlibach. I come from Israel and because I see, uh, I'm a writer uh, who see herself as a craftsman, so I would like to to write in all the kind of writing. For me, it's like a yard of the writing, as a playful. So I'm essayist, novelist, I wrote poems, but mostly novelist. The best thing about uh, writing is that Israel is, um, is very expensive. It's very expensive to buy a, a, a ticket flight, flight ticket. So, um, and I want so much to fly, but because it's so expensive, so I can imagine. So this is very good to be imagina imaginator. So I can uh, fly to everywhere in the place. The worst thing that I, I have uh, to recognize the reality. And for me, it's very hard to just to land from the imagination to the very hard and dramatic situations in Israel. I think that something, something is very good now in Israel uh, happening, very good uh, in according to the literature. You know, all the time we have the mainstream uh, literature, but in, in the 80s and the 50s, 60s, 90s, it was very limited. But I feel that um, as much as the times get over, so more and more other stories uh, can be um, can be can be accepted about fantasy science fiction even about uh, lesbian uh, and and uh, gays literature so it's more and more acceptable yes um, I think about Israel what is very difficult not about the literature plan that because it's very very tiny so it's for for the one or the um, the one hand it's very warm and you always be very closer and familiar but the other hand it's very very hard to be individual in, individual so for me it's very difficult to be like this yes the difficult part yeah. i have to yes to begin it's i am hyper so it took me many years to train my brain just to sit and to write and in the beginning so i put a clock and I, I tuned it for five minutes and I couldn't see it. So my friend asked me, asked me all the time, why you are so, so try to do it? So I told them because many, many characters and many plots, it's in my brain and there is no drain for them to get out. So for me, it's very, very hard to be concentrated, but I do it because I have to. And the best thing is because I'm, I'm not realistic so much. So. I just can imagine another reality, and I really, I really believe in in other reality. I believe that there are writers that did it very, very good, and I really like to talk about my my Munidis, um, that create airplane before the Wright brothers. So only by the imagination. Officially, no. I don't think, because um, although there is a thought about it, but democrati the, democratically, I think that the opinions of the writer is, is, not, is not more important than, I don't know, teacher's opinion or maybe uh, uh, taxi driver's opinion. Um, so, and, and also I, I think that, um, um, that we are very good liar. And good inventor. How could someone trust 
about our sense of invention. This is what I do. I all the time I lie in my stories. Yes, in, in that I need. I should say invent, but yes. So I wouldn't trust of writer's opinion. And let's let's remember the picture of Knut Hamsun, how he's about uh, Hitler or Stalin, I don't remember. And let's don't forget, except George Orwell, what was in Sartre and how they use and refer to the communism, even after all the disaster and all the, um, all the things were discovered, they didn't want to change their ideology. So, no, yes. I think that state has to encourage literature. First of all, um, in, addition, in addition to the writers, she has to, um, um, to worry about the literature situation that every pupil, every man or, or woman will know about literature. Um, and beside, uh, to go to the uh, neglected and marginalized places, because I came from a little small town because we came to Jerusalem. So for me, it's all the time the effort not to be with protection, not to be, not to make politics, just to hard work. Sometimes it's very, very hard. So just to go to the neglected places and in the periphery and encourage by workshops and of course by translation because Hebrew is very esoteric. So for me, it's like, it's, it's very limited audience. Yes. So many writers I, I were influenced by, but um, Shulamita Evan, I, I, I think that she didn't receive the honor sh she would get. So today Aaron Appelfeld is amazing, but Shulamita Evan was a, she, I, I so love her writing because every essay, every, even political literature, every poem, uh, uh, yes, poems, everything, it's very, very like curved from the Hebrew. So she has the opposite of many writers have, even the good, because Nabokov says that, uh, I think he pressed the word poshlost, poshlost in Russian. So it's a kitsch and the very um, sugary things. So she's very hard. She very remind me Per Lagerquist also. So if I think about someone like this, a great stylist, so it's Per Lagerquist and he's parallel Israeli. Yes, Shulamit Reven. So fortunately, um, I, I worked like a donkey before I came to Iowa City because I didn't want to bother me because I'm very used to my regular and room and tiny room and table, very, very dirty table with a lot of uh, sweeties. And, but uh, I wanted to edit my novel and what's happened, it's amazing because I started without, I planned last week to write um, a, a new novella about, about Iowa, about Iowa, about the river, Mary will be there. So yeah, yes, um, so I'm very happy about it and it's good environment. And for me, it's just to, to be open to so many people and so different from Israel. Yes. So I would like to be Ot Her Balloon a pilot. So because I like so much to stare and to gaze, so I want to be uh, the driver of a um, Hot Hair Balloon. <laughs> yes. And by the way, most of the good things uh, of writing uh, come to my mind when I just gaze and stare in the, in the air. This was wonderful in the cloud, yes. Um, I think that Iowa is amazing place. Amazing. Place.